In this video, I will demonstrate how to aggregate data, specifically how to create a change score and also how to create a composite score using several variables. So the first demonstration I'll do is how to do a change score. So what we have here, if we look at these FOS21, FOST1, and FOST2 scores, so these are scores on a fear of statistics test. And we want to see the change that occurs from one, the first administration of the test to the second administration of the test. And we want to be able to see the amount of change that occurred from test one to test two. So in order to do that, we have to create a new variable um, that will allow us to create a change score. So we want to go to the transform menu, click compute variable. So the first thing we want to do is name our new variable. So in order to make this um, as clear as possible, we can call this FOST change. And so this will uh, illustrate um, that this is a change score between FOST1 and FOST2. So the next thing we need to do is then include the variables that will then be used to create the new variable, the change score. So in this case, we want to see the change in the score between test 1 and test 2. So what I'll do here is highlight test 2 and move that over into the numeric expression box. And then what I'm basically going to do is subtract the score from time 1 from time 2, and that will give you my change score. So I then want to include the minus or the subtraction sign, then highlight FOST1, and then move that into the numeric expression box. So now what I'm going to do is create a new variable that is basically the difference between test score 1 and test score 2. So once I've done that, I want to click OK. And then if we go back to our data view, we can see now we have this change score on the FOST test. So again, a, a negative score would indicate um, a decrease in score from time one to time two, and you can see that for our first subject here. Their first score in their first administration was 50, the second administration was 48, so they had a change of minus two. So their score actually decreased. If they had a positive score, then that would indicate that their score increased, like we can see here for subject number six. If they have a zero, that means that their score did not change at all. Okay, the next type of data aggregation that we can do, that we commonly will do, is if we have three variables that are related to one another or maybe are part of the same questionnaire. So in this case, we may have measured depression uh, using three different types of questions. And we want to create an aggregate or a composite score. So each of these three variables added together will give us a score that will give us an indication of the level of depression in an individual. And so this is not uncommon when we have different kinds of scales that have subscales, and we want to aggregate those subscales to create a total composite score or total index. So in this case, what we want to do is be able to add up the scores for each individual for depression 1, depression 2, and depression 3. So again, we're going to have to create a new variable in which we add the three scores together. So we want to go to the Transform menu, click Compute Variable, and again, we want to come up with a new variable name. So in this case, we're going to call this, let's call this depress total, in which we're indicating that we're, we're adding up the three depression scores. And again, we want to um, clear this out because we have a new numeric expression. So basically what we're going to do is highlight each of the three depression scores and then indicate that we want to add each of these. So I'm going to highlight these in terms, highlight these in turn, move them over into the expression box and make sure I'm putting an addition sign between each of my three variables. So now we have a new target variable called depress, depress total, which is the sum of variable depress 1, variable depress 2, and variable depress 3. So now we have, we're going to have a composite score. So we go ahead and click OK. Go back to our data view. We can see now we have a new variable that is basically the sum of our three 
depression variables, depress 1, 2, and 3. So now we have a, a total score. So to summarize, what I demonstrated how to do is how to perform different kinds of data aggregation, one being a change score or a different score, which is fairly common, and also how to create a, a summa summation of variables or a summation of scores to create kind of a composite or index score, which is also fairly common. Now I've demonstrated how to do basically addition and subtraction, and we can do different combinations of this depending on how you want to aggregate or how you want to try and manipulate your data. So hopefully you've learned something in this video, and good luck using this technique in your own research.